Are you finding that YouTube videos are getting longer and longer and it's harder just to watch a huge long video just to find a tiny little nugget of information? Did you know that you can summarize YouTube videos for free like this? I'm the Productivity Coach and today I show you how. <laughs> Hi, I'm Stuart Rinat, the Productivity Coach, and I work at Microsoft as part of our modern work AI and ecosystem team. And today I want to show you a great functionality that is in the free version of Copilot that anyone has access to, regardless of whether you use a personal or an enterprise Microsoft 365 account. So let's get started and I'll show you how it works. So here I am on my computer and I'm just gonna open up the Edge browser. Now you have to be on Edge. Um, so I've got a YouTube video here. It's nearly 14 minutes about Copilot in Microsoft Word. And I'm gonna click on the Copilot symbol up here in the top right. Now it can be on a personal one or you can see here, um, I'm on an enterprise account because I've got this protected thing. It doesn't matter, they both work. Um, so let's say I wanna find out about this video without watching it. So I'm gonna click summarize this video and I'm gonna uh, hit enter and now it will go through and it will summarize the video. Now it uses the transcript, which is already uh, enabled in YouTube to be able to summarize that video. Um, but you can see here that this video is 14 minutes nearly um, and in only seconds, it's got uh, my summary. So I've got a bit of a summary about what the video is about and then I've got highlights. So the purpose and benefits of Copilot, the ingredients of a prompt, how to use uh, or how to create new content in Word, uh, etc. Okay, and you can see it doing all of this automatically. Um, and you can see it's put little timestamps here as well. Um, so you know whereabouts in the video those things are happening. Um, I can even see that it's pulled out a web address that I've mentioned there as part of that. So it's really, really, uh, really, really easy to use. But now it's finished, you can see that actually it's put citations. So those timestamps have become clickable. So I can even jump to the right place of that. Uh, okay, but one of the great things is I can ask questions. So I'm gonna say, what are the ingredients of a good prompt? So I saw it mentioned uh, a little further up in the summary, but it didn't actually tell me what those ingredients are. And again, what it's gonna do now is look into the transcript and come back with the answer. So it's saying, okay, so the first one is goal, what do you want to achieve, then context, then the source, and then your expectations. What would a successful outcome look like? Okay, so again, it's pulled that out. I haven't even had to go to that place in the video to be able to find that. It's all done it for me automatically. Okay, so I had mentioned a, a web address. So I'm gonna say, are there any useful websites mentioned uh, in, in here. So, okay, so are there any useful websites mentioned? Uh, searching for the information. Ah, now I can already see what's gonna happen here. Now you can see here it says searching for useful websites mentioned in the document. And I can tell that what it's doing, yes, it is, uh, it's now looking on the web. So you can see here it's got adoption site. It's telling me about it, but you can see here that it's put lifewire.com. Uh, it's got the Purdue uh, Online Writing Lab as well. Uh, so you can see that what it's actually done here is it's gone off onto the internet for that. So it's something you really need to be, just be, be mindful of because these aren't the, uh, aren't the links that I gave in the video. So you need to just be really careful of that. Um, and that's why, you get these, that's why you get these citations and these references so you know um, what, is, uh, what is true and what isn't. So I'm gonna change this and say in this video, does the presenter men oh, mention any websites? Okay, and now it's saying searching your video for information. So you can see here, um, now it's searching the right source. And it says, yes, the presenter mentions one website in the video, adoption.microsoft.com forward slash copilot. And it's given me the timestamp there as well. So really, really easy to get used, uh, start using that straight away, um, especially for those much longer videos. Um, obviously don't use them on any of my videos uh, because I need to have as much of the, uh, as much watch time as possible. Um, but honestly, you can do this on any video. As long as it's got a transcript turned on, then you can use this. So it's a really great way to be able to cut through and find the content that you want, um, especially if that video hasn't put like chapters in and things like this. Um, so just while we're talking about videos, please remember to like, share, and subscribe to my uh, channel. Hopefully you found this useful. It is 
very short video uh, because we're talking about those horrible long videos here. So uh, hopefully you find it useful and I'll see you again on another video.